it going YouTube? Today I am doing the Eurovision tag, um, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Now if you know, if, if you know me, you all know I'm a huge Eurovision fan, huge Eurovision fan. Uh, so I thought I'd do uh, this tag today. I have my laptop next to me, uh, so I will be looking that way to look at the questions. So yeah. I have been watching it since about 2000, I reckon, probably just a bit, but I only ever remember from 2007-ish, 2006. Yeah, quite a few times, we used to win it all the time, um, but then it became political and then we just became a very small country <laughs> amongst all these other countries and now we come always like third to last and that. My favourite year was probably either 2009 or 2014 or 2015. I can't make up my mind between them because 2014, uh, 2009 was year where it was just like all typical Eurovision stuff but then 2014 it did get a bit political but it was still quite fun and then 2015 was just awesome my least favorite year was 2008 there was not really many acts that interested me sorry I keep moving um, my foot is caught I really, really, really thought Electro Velvet this year had potential to at least come on the left hand side of the board. Let's face it, we'll never win, but we should have come at least on the left side of the board rather than just getting five points. We deserved it. My least favourite song which represented our country was Daz Sampson. I briefly remember it, he was like a 40 year old guy who went on in like tracksuit stuff with a bunch of school kids. It was very, very weird. This one's an easy one. Um, Fairy Tale by Alexander Dubak from 2009 Norway. But that guy has a, a personal place in my heart, so yeah. I reckon that would probably be Twin Twin, uh, France's 2014 entry, because I expected it to be a really boring French sort of song. It was actually quite fun. It was kind of like the French version of Jedward. Now Jedward, I, I'm sorry to anybody that this offends, but I absolutely hate Jedward. <laughs> but I can see why people do like them, I can see why they're funny. Same with Twin Twin, kind of. I like Twin Twin, really like Twin Twin, because they're funny. Like, I've seen interviews and they are hilarious. <laughs> they are absolutely hilarious. Um, um, Adam MP3, Armenia, uh, 2014. This was because I watched the official video before the contest. I watched the official video and I thought, oh this is quite good, it's quite gothic y, quite really like a twist on a ballad. But then I saw him sing live and I was just like, oh. He his compared to his official video, his live performance wasn't that good. But the song was good. I would have to say 2007, where it had the um, it had Verka Sedushka Lasha Tumbai. I will leave a link in the description because you probably do not know what I'm on about. It's Ukraine, um, and she was in a well, she he was in a silvery outfit with a huge star on her head. So funny. Um, 
but yeah, that was probably one of the earliest memories that I've had. Now, I didn't remember this when it came out because I was like one, but about when I was about five or six, I found out about this song. It's Fly on the Wings of Love um, by the Olsen Brothers, representing Denmark in 2000. Fly on the wings of love Fly baby fly Now people are going to shoot me for this but I think Heroes by Mons Zalmelu was overrated like people are like oh my god it's amazing oh my god um, like the graphics was amazing and stuff and I'm like wake up people it's 2015 we expect this kind of stuff also I think he won based on his looks rather than the song I think personally Italy should have won uh, because it was something different like as they said and I'm probably gonna have a load of Bill Volivers going oh my god oh my god you know the quote um, it's the first time that three men from Italy, three young men from Italy, have sung opera on Eurovision. Uh, Electro Velvet, like I said earlier, I think they should have got way more points than they did, but I think it all boiled down to political stuff, which is a shame. Well, um, Golden Boy by Israel. Uh, 2015. I can't pronounce the guy's name. Nadav something or other. But yeah, that song it always gets stuck in my head. It gets stuck in my sister's head as well. And I think if you go on to, if you look on my other videos on my YouTube account, you will see that I did a parody of all the Eurovision, well, some of the, some of my favourite Eurovision songs. And uh, I think Olden Boy was in there. Also, if you look on my Instagram, Links are all in the description. Uh, you will see my sister dancing to Golden Boy. <laughs> so that's quite funny. Well, the first time I did that was Alexander Rybak um, because he's become a huge inspiration to me throughout various things, uh, which, if you follow me on social media, you will know about quite a bit. Uh, but recently, Il Volo. Uh, I have absolutely like become like a huge fan of them because uh, they're quite inspirational as well. So um, well, throughout the years I know of, from like 2000 onwards, uh, share this moment or something like that. I can't really remember the exact slogan. I think it was 2010 slogan. Um, I just briefly remember Alexander Rubak saying it at one point, so I think it was 2010 when he performed in Oslo. Il Volo, Dima Bellam uh, from 2008 and Alexander Rubak from 2009. I'd also quite like to see Sabalta from Switzerland do that, uh, participate again. but. Uh, recently he has quit music, well kind of quit music, he's gone back into the career he was in before Eurovision which was law, but he's never going to get parted from his violin, people are saying, so. Um, I usually watch it with my family in my living room, sitting room, whatever you call it, uh, where we have the TV, but over the last couple of years I've been the only one that watches it <laughs> and my parents only come through when UK come on and I have this big flag, in fact I was going to say you could probably see it behind me but it's not behind me, it's on the floor behind me. Uh, I have this Br Great Britain flag that's huge and I sit with that around me like a, like a jacket sort of thing. This one's quite a... I don't know what the word is, um, but yeah, um, as long as like no politics involved, which unfortunately there is, that would be quite good, like the way that they vote, if there's no politics involved in it, like voting for your neighbour countries or voting, or not voting for somebody because there's a war on, 
or something like I think it was last year, like 2015, 2014. Russia and Ukraine and all that lot got booed just because of the stuff that's going on in our countries. I also think that it was quite funny for that Dmitry guy from 2015 voting, like make a joke out of the Russian thing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 points from Russia go to Russia! <laughs> Kidding! To Italy! Now, Eurovision's already gone this year, um, and the 2016 acts haven't been released yet. Um, and probably won't do until like January or something. But um, I'm still, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of my Tumblr friends will agree with me on this. Um, I'm still annoyed that Il Volo didn't win. I mean, I'm happy for Mons, I'm happy for him because it was a good song and everything. But I think El Volo, even though they got third, I think they deserve to win uh, because it's the first time that they've sang this type of, like Italy have given a trio and and their song was good and the style of music was good and the staging was good and just everything. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, please give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Please suggest to me what tag do you want me to do? Um, I'm off on holiday in Devon soon for like four days but <clears throat> I'm gonna maybe do as many videos as I can before or do a couple after. I'm gonna vlog the Devon trip there but I don't know how much I will vlog. Please share this video with everybody. Yeah, I'd be quite happy if this ended up in the Eurovision Facebook groups that I'm in. So I will see all you guys in the next video. Goodbye.